Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to, and today we are talking about the latest news updates for SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI stock, and recently they released that they are launching an ad campaign to bolster their revenues in the form of breaking up with old banks. So basically, SoFi wants people to break up with their old banks and join SoFi in this gigantic movement. We're also going to talk about the latest updates for SoFi Technologies' newest stock price predictions by analysts, particularly Oppenheimer, which lowered their SOFI stock price target down from $28 per share. Then we're going to see what other analysts think about SoFi Technologies to determine if this is a good buying opportunity right now so we can buy SoFi on this dip to see what professionals actually think about the stock. And then from there, we're going to determine SoFi's projections for their approaching earnings report, which could also cause a reversal in the overall stock price. And the reason why I think SoFi stock is going to have a reversal soon is because the technical analysis for this particular stock signifies that we could be in for a reversal, which is fantastic news, especially if you are very bullish on SoFi technologies. So, for more videos on SoFi, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below and your price targets down below about SoFi technologies, and without further ado, let's get right into today's stories. So, SoFi technologies recently announced a new branding campaign, and it's called Breaking Up With Bad Bank. Banking. So SoFi wants people to break up with their old bank and move on with SoFi Technologies because SoFi offers an all-in-one banking app because SoFi Technologies has an all-in-one inclusive app to help people with their personal finances. It helps them save money. It helps them track their spending. They can borrow on SoFi's platform. They can earn money on SoFi's platform. Customers can also use SoFi's app to invest into stocks as well as cryptocurrencies, and they also offer some forms of insurance for customers' money. The reason SoFi is launching this campaign is to bolster their overall brand awareness as well as their overall revenues. Research shows that the average adult in the United States has used the same primary checking account for around 14 years. However, these same people that have been using the same account for around 14 years are not very satisfied with their overall bank. They are only 33% satisfied with their financial institution, and this is why SoFi thinks it's time to move on to a better, more innovative company, such as SoFi Technologies. The chief marketing officer of SoFi Technologies says our new breakup with bad banking campaign is a call to action for consumers to wake up from financial complacency and join a bank that truly understands their wants and needs. He continues by saying, We are committed to creating meaningful and lasting relationships with our members. When you move on with SoFi, you are entering a relationship that prioritizes you. Our robust product offering puts you and your financial needs first to help you get your money right and ultimately help you achieve financial independence. So these are very strong statements coming from the chief marketing officer over at SoFi Technologies, but honestly, SoFi is better than regular banking institutions. They are an all-in-one bank that offers anything a person could possibly need, which is why I am so bullish on SoFi Technologies and I think that they are an extremely innovative fintech company overall. The company is launching their campaigns through multiple different channels and conduits, including TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and they are also airing various television advertisements across all major national cable streaming platforms beginning in early March. They also have hashtags that are going to be used on Twitter as well as YouTube, such as hashtag SoFi Breakup Challenge and hashtag Move On With SoFi. The Super Bowl is going to be held in SoFi Stadium, so this is also going to bolster publicity for the overall company and hopefully increase their revenues by expanding their overall brand awareness. So I think this is absolutely genius on SoFi technology. Part. SoFi is also extremely competitive compared to regular banks because their annual percentage yield for their savings and checking account is around 1%, which is absolutely phenomenal. That's actually 33 times higher than the national average compared to other banks. So this is a huge competitive advantage that SoFi has compared to traditional banks. Now I want to talk about how Oppenheimer has decreased their SOFI stock price prediction from $28, which is what it was originally, down to only $18. However, $18 is still a substantial increase from what the stock is trading at currently, because right now the SOFI stock is trading at around $12.70 per share. So even if their low-end price target is actually true for this year, we could still see fantastic upside in this particular company. Several other research institutions and analysts have also recently issued reports on SOFI Technologies, 
such as Rosenblatt Securities, which increased their SoFi stock price target from $28 up to $30. So clearly they think SoFi stock is a buy right now. Wed Bush also has an outperform rating on SoFi stock, and they give it a price target of $20 per share. Goldman Sachs is not as bullish on SoFi as these other two institutions, and they more relate with Oppenheimer because Goldman Sachs gives SoFi a $16 price target with a neutral rating. On the other hand, we have Jeffrey's Financial Group, which has increased their SoFi stock price target from $24 up to $26, and they also gave it a buy rating. But what do other analysts think about this company? Well, in the last three months, we can see that three analysts are very bullish on the stock, four analysts are somewhat bullish, three analysts are indifferent, zero analysts are somewhat bearish, and absolutely no analyst is completely bearish on this company. So overall, that is fantastic news out of these particular analysts. Their average price target comes in at $21.40, with the high-end price prediction coming in at $30, and the low-end price target coming in at $16. However, even if the low-end price target over the next 12 months is true, that is still fantastic upside from what the stock is currently trading at, which is around $12.70. These analysts are highly qualified to actually give these price targets because not only are they very good respective analysts coming from very well respected institutions, they are also analysts who specialize with banking, fintech, and financial institutions. So we can put great confidence in these stock price targets because these are based off of the meetings calls with the companies, their financial statements, conversations with insiders, their future growth projections, their growth for their revenues, and their earnings report. Speaking of about their approaching earnings report, let's go over their forecasted earnings report. So we are going to be going off of the data by Wed Bush for the full year of their 2021 on top of their quarter four of 2021. Wed Bush actually lowered their full year 2021 post earnings estimates down from $3.44 all the way to $3.49. And again, this is a loss. We are talking about a loss here. Anytime you see parentheses right here, specifically when we're talking about financials or accounting, the parentheses indicate that it's a loss. So they originally anticipated a loss of $3.44, and now they anticipate a loss of $3.49. However, Wedbush is still very bullish on SoFi Technologies because they still have an outperform rating for the stock and a price target of $20. For quarter four of 2021, they think that SoFi is only going to lose around $0.15 cents per share. Wedbush also gave us projections when it comes to SoFi Technologies EPS or earnings per share when it comes to the first quarter of 2022 their full year 2022 EPS, as well as their full year 2023. And those came in an 11 cent loss, a 51 cent loss, and a 34 cent loss. And these are all respected to their various periods. And this means that SoFi Technologies is radically improving their earnings per share, and they can even reach profitability in 2024, which is absolutely fantastic news. We really want SoFi Technologies to beat revenues of around $277.19 million for quarter four, and this could be so powerful it may even cause a reversal in the overall stock price. Several hedge funds and institutions have been buying up more SoFi Technologies as of late, including Insight Advisors LLC PA, which lifted their position in SoFi Technologies by 66.1% in the fourth quarter. They now have around 42,888 shares valued at close to $678,000. Central Trust also lifted and increased their position of SoFi Technology stock by 21% in the fourth quarter, and now they own around 114,000 shares, which equates to around $1.8 million. Westpac Banking Corp actually issued a new stake in SoFi Technologies in the fourth quarter, and now they own around $605,000 worth. We also see that Stockman Wealth Management increased their SoFi Technology exposure by 14.8% in the fourth quarter, which is valued at $316,000, while Venture Visionary Partners LLC also increased their SoFi Technologies allocation and exposure by around 47% in the fourth quarter, and their stocks are now valued at around almost a million dollars. Even though the SoFi stock price is falling, we see hedge funds and institutions just buying more SoFi stock, and that's another reason why we could experience a reversal here soon. But now let's talk about some very surface level technical analysis, because as the stock price is dropping, there's always a chance that new buyers or former buyers are going to return and double down on their SoFi stock positions, and that's going to make a fantastic support. But where is the bottom of SoFi technologies? Well, many analysts actually think that the bottom is around $9 to $10. 
which SoFi stock could go to before having a fantastic reversal. But why do people and analysts think that SoFi stock is going to have a reversal? Well, for one, it's trading below its 50-day MA, which is their moving average. They also have resistance at around $13.50 and $14.27. So if SoFi stock breaks $13.50 or $14.27 based off of any recent catalyst, such as them hosting the Super Bowl, their new ad campaign, or their impressive earnings results, any of these could take the stock price above $13.50, and if this happens, we could see the stock completely reverse and start to trend upward again. And that would make investors extremely excited. But I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment your thoughts down below about SoFi Technologies. Like this video right now if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.